Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Don't Buy a Home Near a Celebrity. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. There is a very disturbing new trend in the real estate market. It's starting to stun both real estate agents and home sellers. When people witness it, they may think it's just this one house that I'm looking at, or maybe uh, they think that it's the neighborhood. But what they're really witnessing is the beginning of a huge phenomenon. And that phenomena is homes that are unsellable. Not difficult to sell, but unsellable. That's because these homes are now located in financial kill zones. It used to be that homes were unsellable because of price, and that may still be the case. Uh, if the price of a home was too high, then your home couldn't be sold. That was just it. The seller was just stuck with that fact. But now there are many other problems that cause a home to be unsellable. And those causes are surprising many people. As we said, homes that are overpriced will definitely cause them to be unsellable, but there's a growing list of new reasons, new criteria that are preventing homes from being sold. One of them is crime and the lack of police or prosecutorial protection. When the police don't respond to your 911 call or the prosecutors release the criminal two hours after they were arrested, then that means that homes uh, that are for sale in that neighborhood or zip code are now effectively in a financial kill zone. And who's getting killed or wiped out? It's the home sellers. A financial kill zone is a neighborhood or a zip code where the police protection is essentially unavailable because they're being defunded or the prosecutors refuse to punish criminals. Many buyers still don't realize this, but homes located in financial kill zones are going to see their values go to zero. Not just diminish dramatically, but they'll go to zero. That's because no one wants them. No, no informed buyer is going to want to live in a neighborhood like that. They're not going to want to send their kids to a school in a neighborhood like that. They're not going to let their kids play outside in a neighborhood like that. Now, there are a lot of home buyers and flippers who don't care about this. They specialize in reselling or renting to buyers or tenants who can only afford to live in kill zones. That's what their buying options are limited to. And if so, then you know that's fine as long as they're aware and informed. But if a buyer is unaware of that or finds that uh, after they purchase the home that, they'll, uh, that their families are now living in a financial kill zone or in great danger, then that is a huge problem. The next issue is rotating power outages. If a home being sold is located in an area with a large number of rotating power outages, then your life will be a living hell for the foreseeable future, especially if you have to work from home. Now, some people will say to get a generator, but keeping a generator running for days at a time can be really costly and it's loud, it's noisy, it's annoying. So you have to keep all of that nonsense in mind. Fortunately, there are a lot of websites and services out there which track and monitor zip codes which have rotating blackouts and you can check them to see how often it happens uh, in the zip code of the home you're contemplating purchasing. Sometimes what looks like a really good price on a, on a decent house is just a clue that it may be unsellable because of these constant rotating blackouts. Here's another reason why a home may be unsellable. The school system it's in may very well be run by perverts and deviants who want to compromise and assault your children with all sorts of deviant behavior and policies. Parents are now moving out of school systems and areas that are run by these lunatics. California in particular seems to be doing everything it can to officially hurt and compromise little children with bizarre policies and teachers are trying to get very inappropriate with children. Uh, somehow these teachers have been co-opted, uh, they've been uh, brainwashed and programmed by some of the insane colleges out there that train them that behaving inappropriately with a child is somehow appropriate now. Next we have a problem with water rationing. 
In the Western United States, various cities and states are trying to increase their rationing of water. In some places, they're trying to ration or restrict when you can water the lawn, how often you can take a shower, how much water you can use. Can you wash your car? Probably not. Water has become the new gold and it's going to get more valuable and rare and costly than ever. If you live in Arizona or California or some of the other western states, then you're soon going to see your water prices increase dramatically. Water availability is going to get worse and worse and worse. And as that happens, then homes in those areas will see their prices start to drop. That's because nobody wants to see their water bill quadruple or worse every year. The next problem is the growing disappearance of grocery stores and retail stores uh, in those zip codes, in the zip code of the home you're thinking of buying, perhaps. If the stores in that area are being robbed and looted so often that they're forced to close, then that means the people living in that area will have fewer places to shop. And that makes those areas and homes less desirable. Next, there's a new phenomenon called sociographic desirability. Does the home's neighborhood appear to reside in a sociographically undesirable neighborhood full of gangsters and criminals and perverts and people on the sex registry who are all trying to, uh, to prey on the people living, on, uh, living there, the, people, uh, the people's children, and even people driving by? Do you hear loud music late at night? Uh, do you see prostitutes walking around? Does every other house have a loud barking pit bull in the front yard? Are car alarms going off every five minutes? Do you see a lot of people sitting on front porches watching the neighbors, waiting to see who's leaving the house so they can rob it when it's empty? Are homes in the neighborhood constantly catching on fire or being vandalized? You might think that this only happens in the worst neighborhoods, but now it's happening in the suburbs where drug dealers are moving in. And now drug dealers like to eliminate competing drug dealers by firebombing their homes in the neighborhoods. Remember, a lot of lazy realtors won't tell you these things. And by the way, do you know why two or three years after a home is burnt, uh, it's not repaired or fixed or raised to the ground? Oftentimes, it's because the insurance companies refuse to pay for it when there was a long-term illegal activity in the house. They're not going to cover it. Remember, a lot of lazy realtors won't tell you these things. They just want to sell a house as quickly as possible and they could care less what happens to you after you buy the house. So you need to research the homes in this area. Drive by late at night during the week and on the weekends. Do you see a lot of creeps in the neighborhood? Do you see a lot of damaged or rundown cars? Then you may want to keep looking for a home elsewhere because the neighborhood you're looking at may be a financial kill zone. One last thing for people buying high-end homes. It's not common, but it's a real problem. People used to think that living near a celebrity was a sign of prestige. It would, it would increase your home's value. People thought that was a good thing. They would brag about it to their friends and say that so-and-so rapper or movie star or singer lives on my street. And then reality strikes and they would see how crazy the celebrity is how bad the loud music and the barking dogs and the endless parties were, how the valet parking companies hired by the celebs to park cars during their parties would tie up and disrupt the, the traffic and the parking up and down the entire street in the entire neighborhood. That's when they realized that having a celeb living nearby can start to drive down the price of your home's value in the neighborhood simply because of all the insanity that comes along with it. So keep that in mind. Celebs living on your street is not always a good thing. Sometimes it can be your worst nightmare. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.